What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate reverse ranch and old hate. Now, I saw some video of uh, Trevor Bryant, you know, and he pretty much on his Instagram went into uh, insult mode against Dillian White and the UK fans. You know, he has this video. He's laughing based on the comments that Dillian White made about facing Trevor Bryant. You know, um... And, you know, uh, Dillian said, hey, man, look, I've been having all these tough fights. You know, I want an easier fight. And I, for one, think Trevor Bryant is an easy fight. Um, not only that, he has a WBA title. Now, let me say this. I don't know if he's doing this because he really wants to fight with Dillian White. Or if he's just doing this to bring attention to himself. Um, and... All honesty, if you if you think about what I've been saying, like with Terrence Crawford's situation now, like I said, you don't have to be insulting or whatever, but the point is, you know, people have these social media platforms and they have other people posting pictures and videos, but they don't do anything to get themselves out there. They don't they don't let their voices be heard. Trevor Bryant did. And this is the only reason why I'm even making this video. Um, because basically you don't see Don King and nobody pushing Trevor Bryant to do anything. You don't see any promotions for this guy. They're, they're not talking about this guy like he's worth anything. To be honest with you, Trevor Bryant is not an elite fighter. Um, He hasn't done anything. He's done nothing. And the fact that it took him all night to finally dispose of, of, of um, Burns to Burn, who has been past his prime for a long time. And even at best, he was decent. You know, Berman Stavern, Berman Stavern is done, man. Like, and the fact that this fight was even for a title, well, I told you guys, you know, I felt like they was fattening him up for someone else. But the fact of the matter is, even now, if you look, I noticed too, I was looking at the ranking system for the WBA. And I forget the guy that he, he, he took, he bumped Wilder down to number three. He came up to number two. I don't know how these things are taking place. They just, other than they just put you where they want you to be, okay? Um, because Wilder went up to number two without even fighting anybody. He gets uh, Bogdu or however that guy, guy um, name, whatever. But um, he, he, he basically has been bumped back down to number three. Now, Trevor Bryant, I don't see him beating a Joe Joyce. I don't see him beating Daniel Daniel Dubois. I don't see him beating uh, uh, um, Dillian White. I don't see him beating Deontay Wilder. I don't see him beating Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, okay, uh, uh, Alexander Usyk. I don't see this guy beating any elite fighter. So for him to have a title, I mean, he has a video. He has the title up on top of his vehicle. He's talking a lot of trash. Just smack talking, you know, and... He basically, he put up emojis and put up a, uh, like this hashtag, uh, you know, laughing at these clowns, laughing at the UK clowns, laughing at Dillian White, you know, insulting the UK and all or whatever, and just, just talking trash and talking nonsense, but he's talking, he's promoting himself, he's basically trying to get attention, and it worked to us to a little, to a small degree, okay, um, I've heard nothing from him nothing about him from his promotional team you don't see them promoting anything about this guy so it's like i said he's not a champion that they believe in um i think if dylan white does get that fight he takes the title and it's only a matter of time before he has that wba title around his waist because this guy is just not a good fighter so i don't care how confident he's talking and how you know much trash he's talking he's promoting himself He's drawing attention to himself, and basically, it's better than just sitting back doing nothing. Like, you know, who is he going to fight that we even care about? Who has he ever fought? He's done nothing his whole career. So, um, you know, he's talking about you take the title off me, it never happened, and it's going to be hard trying to get just, just, just talking, 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 talking. And I'm like, hey, well, at least finally somebody, he's putting himself in a position where somebody can hear from him as a as a fighter because. Other than that, he has nothing. Now, I'm not impressed by what he did, but I feel like it's better, like I said, than just sitting back 
waiting for something to happen for you. Um, who is he going to fight? I heard he was supposed to fight Emmanuel Char. It's not a fight I'm interested in. Okay, it's not, not a fight I'm interested in. But that's the level of opposition, okay, that someone like Trevor Bryant can fight and be competitive in. I see him getting destroyed by any elite fighter. The guy is just not a good fighter. He's done nothing his whole career. And pretty much it took him all night long to finally knock out Burns to Burn. Now, people can sit. Now, I don't expect the commentators to shoot the fights down. I don't think they should. That's one thing about boxing. I never liked it. You're sitting there. Um, you're, you're doing commentating. But, you, you, you know, they HBO, they had a, a, a terrible habit of that. Uh, these guys, Larry Merchant and all these guys or whatever, they, they sit there. And they would just talk down on the fight before it even happened. You know, I think we'll have more fun watching paint dry and stuff like that. You know, like, well, why would anybody want to tune in and watch this garbage fight? Then you're telling us it's garbage before it even happens. Um, but yeah, just 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 the talk that he did, I think. And, you know, Dylan being from the UK, you know, he's trying to stir up the pot to get attention to himself because he knows that boxing is big in the UK. You know, we have COVID and all that, but. He knows this. Now, do he plan on going to fight in the UK? Is that I don't know. But this is what I'm saying is whether whether he gets a fight with Dylan or not, okay, um, this is getting him attention. And we know he don't need to do that to get Dylan's attention. Dylan's the one who said, Hey, maybe I'll go fight for the you know, Trevor Bryan for the WBA title. So he didn't call out Dylan. Dylan called him out and saying that. And basically it's not a fight that I want to see like it's competitive. It'll just be another accomplishment for Dylan. And Dylan will have some real estate. And, you know, he'll be able to, you know, I could say call some shots. But basically, I think Dylan will be in more demand for bigger fights. That make more sense than to just keep, you know, because Dylan has been fighting for a damn mandatory position forever. And it's like, wow, like how, how many other people do he have to fight? Before they say, okay, he's the mandatory for AJ or for a Tyson Fury or whatever. Because to say, now remember before, before the Povetkin fight, they said that if he wins, he's mandatory for, bottom line, the winner of that fight was mandatory for Tyson Fury's WBC. Now, all of a sudden, you know, you heard, had people making up stories talking about that um, Deontay was being forced to fight Dylan and that this is going to be, you know, for the WBA, WBC mandatory. And I'm saying, okay, wait, so what the fuck was the fight with Pavekin about then? Just revenge alone? Like, no, he's supposed to be, and that's according to Mauricio Suleiman. It came out of his mouth, okay, that he's supposed to be next in line to fight for that WBC title. So when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, okay, so if Dylan... You know, is is in that position right now. We don't know what's going to happen because, for starters, okay, we don't know what's happening with um, Tyson Fury and AJ. And also, have you guys noticed? Ever since the talks between AJ and Fury has been shaky, where's the promotion for Joe Joyce versus Alexander Usyk? Wasn't that fight going on because there was an agreement with Usyk? So if that fight doesn't happen, well, then what? Does Usyk go back to being the mandatory for 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 AJ's WBO title? And what does that what does that leave Joe Joyce? Is this fight off? You understand what I mean? Because basically, if that was the case, then that means he's just sacrificing his spot. Because should Joe Joyce beat um, Alexander Usyk, I don't want to see them fight again just to try to get the spot back. If he lose to Joe Joyce, then that means Joe Joyce should have that spot that he had. So there was an agreement between Usyk and 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 and, and Joshua's team, you know, for these fights that um take place. So, you know, we haven't heard anything about Usyk and Joe Joyce ever since we we. It's been a while now. It's been a while. So, I'm I'm going to keep my ears open to hear what's going on with that and where that goes because at right now. There's no promotion. And no nobody's even talking about it. It's like it's like people either forgot about it, like, oh yeah, yeah, that fight was supposed to happen, or basically the all talk about that fight just stopped. We've seen no training videos, anything. So where do they go from here? Hey man, you know, 
it's it's just a crazy boxing world right now. Everything that's going on, like a lot of it just doesn't make any sense to add up. But, you know, there's a lot of guys out there who will be a, rep, a better representative of that WBA title than Trevor Bryant. So the way I see it, you know, Trevor Bryant can basically hold on to that title and fight a bunch of unworthy guys that basically a bunch of non-elite, non-world-class fighters. He may beat these guys. All right? He may not. Who cares? Who really cares? You understand what I'm saying? And then he can hold on to that title. If he does hold on to it, does he get a fight <clears throat> with, uh, uh, you know, one of the elite fighters? We don't know. But again, it's not a mega fight. It's not something that, oh, yeah, Trevor Bryant versus Dylan. Or, no. No, it's basically which one of these elite fighters are going to take this belt off of Trevor Bryant. And that's really the, the interest in any, any anything surrounding him. No one looks at this guy as a champion. And even Kennedy has this title. So he's taking it upon himself to get his face seen, to get his name heard. Now, the way he's doing it, of course, the UK fans is, is, is pretty much going to either brush him off, not take him serious, or basically they're not they're, they're not they're not going to like what he's saying, you know. Um, and particularly, he just chose the UK because not only it's, it's even one thing to say laughing at this clown dealing in white, but he goes the clown UK fans and he's clowning the UK, he's clowning dealing. He's you know basically like I said, he's trying to get his name out there. I don't think he really wants to fight Dillian White. I don't think he really wants that fight. But if he can build his profile off of, you know, saying things like what he said and it works for him, well, hey, I mean, worst case scenario is he get embarrassed in front of more people. But Trevor Bryan is not a household word. Um, he doesn't have too many stripes under his belt, to be honest with you. He just He just basically was talking, as far as I'm concerned, to get his name out there. We'll see what happens. You know, and and I'm pretty sure, it, well, in my opinion, Dylan White wins that fight easy. You know, Trevor Bryant, like I say, he's just not a good fighter. Um, anyway, look, that's all I'm going to say on this video. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth, greatest hate out of people, and I will catch y'all in the next video.